hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this third session so what i am going to discuss so how to pass the json data okay so already i made a video on the in my previous sessions so in my first part i will tell you one thing in my first session so how to configure the ftp server and inbound portals and how to configure in the network security group everything i have discussed in the first session and second session so after you configure the files you need to iterate from the azure logic apps okay if you want to iterate the um, loop through each and every item um and you want to send that file json file to somewhere else so that we have discussed in the second session now after you get the files from the ftp server and ftp folders so you need to pass that json data because in tomorrow if you want to dynamically read those items with the child items so the you need to pass the json uh, item okay json files so how to pass the json files i will explain in this session okay okay um next okay uh first of all you need to select the list files in folder okay this control will navigate the ftp folders which is in the virtual machine so already i have created one virtual machine and the ftp server this is my ftp folder in this ftp folder i have the one file okay so i'm navigating the one folder using the list files in the folder using this control okay after that i have to use the uh, control called the for each loop control why because uh, you have navigated the uh, folder but you have to iterate the items which is inside the folder so that's why we are using the for each loop okay in this for each loop i'm using the one the body of okay you don't need to directly you can select the body otherwise you can use the expression the body of okay already it's we, we got this yeah i hope you got it the what is the mean the body of i'm hovering here with the body of list files in folder okay so we need to iterate the items which is inside the list files in folder okay i i hope you got it next add item so in this add item i'm going to select the ftp and again i'm going to select the get file content why i'm selecting this first of all you have navigated the folder so after you have to um select the items which is inside the uh, folder okay after that you need to read the content okay so that's why i'm using the path why i'm not getting oh my god yes path okay okay this will navigate the folder the body section will be the body of the list file uh, in folder will uh, iterate the items and finally you need to read the files using the get file content and next you need to pass the json data okay in this pass json data so when you are getting the data from the ftp folder it will comes as the stream okay okay it will comes as not stream um going forward i will show you i forgot that name so we need to convert into the json okay you need to convert that into the json so how to convert that uh using the expression json so definitely i will show you um i don't forget that but now i forget but going forward i will show that option okay json of file content okay so what i'm doing here i'm converting i'm using the conversions okay you can see the cache data to application json using the json conversion okay and click on the okay and copy this and paste over here you can easily generate your json payload here okay json payload here so after that i'm going to send that data so required data actually i'm going to show one thing 
actually i want to show the only last name and first name i don't want to this full format only i want to this two names only okay i don't want this full format only i want these two names so how to read the data okay send mail body cc and subject i'm going to give my username and to dot gmail.com okay now in this body section i'm going to add the post json student okay now you can see where is that yeah you can see the last name and you can select the first name you can see okay test ftp okay okay demo json pass ftp files okay i will explain once again so first of all you need to grab the file you need to navigate the ftp folder so after that you need to read the files which is inside the folder so that's why I am declaring here the body of list files in folder later you need to read the content which is inside the FTP folder files okay after that so once you get the data so you need to parse the data using this conversion JSON of body of get file content this okay sorry uh, just I am holding here okay the body of get file content is nothing but the file content you are going to convert using the json expression so and later you need to use the json payload here okay so after that just i'm selecting here i, I did not do anything just i'm selecting the names last name and name dynamically that's it okay next let me click on the save and again click on the trigger so what will happen see I'm expecting the two names we will get. Yeah, already I have tested before. So I'm um, I'm going to delete these files. Okay. Okay, let me test once again click on trigger let me record 10 interval hover okay let me change this 10 seconds okay it will trigger on every 10 seconds and let me save one click on that run trigger mm -hmm. yeah you can see time 331 so yes you can see the thompson nick name only i'm required only few just okay inside names only okay the ch these items only okay properties okay i don't want to hold json file i don't want okay previously we have generated the whole item okay the whole file but now only as a required items only okay Thank you so much guys if you like this video please subscribe thank you so much okay i will show here also you can see in the body section we have given the price term this is your name okay thank you so much guys